as we begin to wrap up our roster breakdown, we have to figure out who's safe at the safety position. Welcome to Believers Talk. My name is Joe, and welcome to a roster breakdown edition of Believers Talk, where we go over the current 90-man Buffalo Bills roster, and we break it down to what I think is going to be that 53-man roster that we need to have it down to by August 31st. Again, in this episode, we're going to talk about the safeties. Before we do that, however, I want to remind everyone, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, again, we have broken down both the offensive side, position by position, and now the defensive side, position by position, of who I think is going to make the 53-man roster. We are going to do an episode on the on the special teams, kicking, punting, and then a long snapper. Should be pretty short, pretty easy. Then also give you the full 53-man roster, as I predicted it throughout this series. So before we get into this, remember, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and again, leave a comment. Let me know who you think are going to be the Buffalo Bills safeties in 2019. So this position actually should be a little easier to some of the other positions that we've done during this roster breakdown, just because we only have seven guys currently on the 90-man roster in 2018. We actually kept five. So you're only dropping two of these seven guys on the roster. So it shouldn't be that difficult. And I think personally, Buffalo Bills have one of the most underestimated or undervalued safety group in the NFL. I think they're one of the best. Why do you think we had the number one defense, last, passing defense last year? Because of this group, because of Trey White, it all makes sense, right? So you look at the, the safety position, you say free safety, strong safety. Joe, what's the difference between free safety and strong safety? I'm glad you asked. So your strong safety, even though sometimes they are a little bit bigger, they are a little bit taller, that's not because they're stronger, right? The strong safety, the reason why they use the word strong is because the, the strong safety normally lines up on the strong side of an offense, right? So whichever side is the offensive strong side. So if you, you have three wide receivers taking the field on offense, whichever whichever side of the ball has two of those wide receivers, that's where the strong sh safety should be most of the time. Your free safety is free to kind of move around and see what is going on with the play to decide what he wants to do. He's the one who's looking at the quarterback's eyes from the snap, or at least that's his job. He's also the one where if you see a play action play by the offense, you'll see a safety sometimes gets sucked in most of the time it's gonna be your free safety because again his eyes are in the backfield he's watching the quarterback trying to figure out what is going on so he can maybe make a play so again the buffalo bills have seven of these guys and we have to cut it down to five so we have seven guys to cut down five i'm going to give you the list again we have some names on here we know are going to make the 53 man roster right but then we have some question marks, maybe one battle coming up this preseason. So you go down this list, you have Jordan Poyer, Raphael Bush, Siren Neal, Jaquan Johnson, Micah Hyde, Maurice Alexander, and then Dean Marlowe. Those are your seven guys. Let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to be in the back in the safe uh, in the safety room for the Buffalo Bills come the 2019 NFL season. So of course. Jordan Poirier, Mike Hyde, boom, boom. They're both going to be there, right? We know they're going to be there. They have been great for us. They've been studs for us since we picked them up two years ago. And there's no reason to think they will not continue that success in the 2019 NFL season. Raphael Bush, do $1.8 million this year, $300. Thousand of that would be dead cap money. Now again, three hundred thousand is, is is laughable, right? In the NFL, when you talk about the salary cap, however, that is the third most in the safety room. And again, Raphael Bush did do pretty decent for us when he was called upon. So I have him being safe as a safety on the twenty nineteen Buffalo Bills. So that really breaks it down. We have four guys, two spots, right? So you have Simon Neal, Jaquan Johnson, Jaquan Johnson, our sixth round draft pick in the 20, 2019 NFL draft. Maurice Alexander and Dean Marlowe. So Cyrene Neal drafted in the fifth round last season for the Buffalo Bills. He had 11 tackles and one sack last season, but he did have some plays on special team, did play some special teams for us as well. And that's an important factor here. As we talk about the special teams, we need to make sure we have guys that can play special teams. We know Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer are going to be the main one, two guys, but we also know that we need guys to possibly rotate in but also be able to help out on special teams when called upon. So 
I'd have Cyrus Neal, uh, Jaquan Johnson again drafted this year, Maurice Alexander, and Dean Marlowe. Now, Maurice Alexander, the story about him, he was signed by the Buffalo Bills March 22nd of this year, was with the Seattle Seahawks last season at 10 tackles in 2018. Didn't play the full season, uh, but he was also a factor on special teams. So when you talk about Cyrus Neal, I'm talking about Maurice Alexander, both factors on special teams. So, Dean Marlowe, you look at the free safety position. Well, if we have Raphael Bush, if we have Jordan Poirier, we already have two free safeties. And you're looking at the rest of these guys saying, well, do we need any more free safeties? You have Maurice Alexander possibly being able to play uh, free safety. And Jaquan Johnson maybe being able to play free safety, but we're not sure about that. So maybe we're looking more at the strong safety side. So for that reason, I have Dean Marlowe out here, right? Unfortunately, we have our two strong free safeties here with Poirier and Bush. We probably don't need another one. We're probably going to go strong, strong, strong. And then, so that leaves no room for Dean Marlowe. So, Maurice Alexander, Siren Neal, Jaquan Johnson. Now, those three guys, who would we like? Well, we like Maurice Alexander, right? Maurice Alexander out of Seattle, again, has experience on special teams. Decent, decent defensive team last season, right? So coming from Seattle, he knows how to play a, a good style of defense. And Leslie Frazier, Sean McDermott, they're only going to add to that. Uh, he has 123 tackles in his career, three career sacks. Drafted in 2004 by the St. Louis Rams. Again, picked up by the Buffalo Bills March 22nd. I see him making the 53-man roster. So now you look down, you look at Siren Neal, Jaquan Johnson. Who is going to make it? Who's going to have that last spot? And I'm giving it to Siren Neal. Siren Neal had a great season. Well, not a great season. A good season for us last year. Productive for a rookie out of, out of the fifth round. We know how much we like our fifth round picks. So in 2018, 11 tackles, one sack. I have faith that he's going to just continue to improve, right? Now, out of the five possible positions for the uh, safeties, I think this one's the biggest question mark. I actually think Simon Neal and Jaquan Johnson are going to battle for it most of training camp, most of preseason, and we'll see who wins. I'm not saying Jaquan Johnson doesn't have a shot. I think he does. But right now, I think Simon Neal, having that extra year of experience, does have the edge. So those are the five safeties I'm making it for the Buffalo Bills. You have Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, Raphael Bush, Maurice Alexander, and Siren Neal. Those are my five. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Maybe you like Dean Marlowe. Maybe you like Jaquan Johnson. Maybe you think they're going to surprise some people. Let me know in the comments below. But again, hit that subscribe button as we continue to go over all Buffalo Bills news as we get ready for the Buffalo Bills season. Again, remember that 90-man roster has to be cut down to 53 by August 31st. We're going to get into the special teams a little bit in the next episode. We won't spend too much time on them. And then my next episode, we are going to give you the full 53-man roster, at least my predictions for the full 53-man roster, and I'll see who you guys think should be on the team as well. Again, maybe Siren Neal, maybe Jaquan Johnson. Right now, I have Siren Neal winning just because of that extra year of experience. Let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment. I'll talk to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.